Brothers and sisters, uh, last uh, Sunday I was not here. I had uh, a schedule outside the, the cathedral. Uh, today we are on the fourth Sunday of Easter. So always think of Easter. So in this season of Easter, the reference para magets na to, no? It's always Easter. The reason Christ. That's the focal point of our prayer and worship. The season of Easter goes up to Pentecost Sunday. So Pentecost Sunday is the last day of the season of Easter. So of Easter, so ang reference again, as I said, is that glory, the mystery, the wonder, the power of the risen Christ who defeated or conquered death. That is the main point. Now today is also called, another parang nickname niya, another tag is Good Shepherd Sunday. You see, simple ang rason, that when we meditate and look at the risen Christ, fourth Sunday of Easter, now we are made to understand that that risen Christ is our Good Shepherd. Ah. And then today also, another title, double, double subtitle is World Day of Prayer for Vocations. Why? Because today is a good day, this Sunday, to again reflect ang atong vocation, atong calling. Tagsa-tagsa my calling. And why is it placed on the fourth Sunday of Easter or Good Shepherd Sunday? Because basically, sa church, ang atong calling is to be shepherds to one another. Ah, so, Good Shepherd Sunday, pero World Day of Prayer for Vocations, voco, vocare, voice, call, we are called. We are called to be shepherds, to take care of one another. And, and by husband, wife, or special vocation to be a teacher, a mother, uh, a farmer, uh, to care for creation. But also today, in the general context of each one meditating on our calling to be shepherds, is the particular need to reflect and pray whether we are called to a particular shepherding, particular, among the many, particular, and that is the calling to the priesthood and calling to the religious life. Because that calling basically can be explained, magpare ka, magmadri ka, the same, a particular way of shepherding to our people. So having said that, Fourth Sunday of Easter, called also Good Shepherd Sunday, in connection also called World Day of Prayer for Vocations. What do we have today? Indeed, from St. John the Gospel, so beautiful uh, uh, set of readings. But the difficulty, my dear friends, is this. If we pay attention to this special, the gospel, lisod sa mga Pilipino, because the image used to tell us how wonderful the risen Christ is as our shepherd, ang imagery very real, Tinood sa Palestina, sa Palestine. We, we don't have, practically almost zero, we don't have that experience of shepherding. As far as I know, nothing can come close to the story and situation sa Gospel really. We don't have shepherding. We don't have shepherds. We don't have sheep. Ah, na gamay, pero obvious kayo incomparable to the intensity and beauty of the parable, the image that the gospel is telling us about good shepherding or about Jesus as a good shepherd. So what do we do? All we do, especially like me, task to preach, is to give a background a little bit. Sheep and shepherding during the time of Jesus and many centuries before Jesus, you can read it in the Bible. <coughs> ang sheep or shepherd, ah, ka ng mga flock, is the lifeblood. 
mao gi many lang panginabuhi centuries to tend ship so that the whole culture uh, involves ang economy and life nila ang relationship sa mga tao and shepherds and families sa ship very intimate very intimate nakadog mo ang si pop luxota pop francis kamong mga pari mga obispo you should smell like sheep kada umana siya you should smell like sheep kay sila literally tinuod dili simple symbol they would smell like sheep close kay nila palangka kay nila ang 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 sheep and the sheep would would know them ha? so i don't know if i'm successful in that very unique very unique in fact ang ang palangga nga pet sa mga bata would be lambs katong baby sheep ah idurudurudulog nila kayo so keep in mind difficult for filipinos to to get but by explanation very unique very intense ang bonding sa shepherd sa family mga anak sa shepherd with their flock okay now second in today's gospel reading Good shepherd, yes, pero ang picture sa gospel reading is actually wider than the individual who is the shepherd. Ang tao ba? Ang shepherd. But really, the picture is the sheepfold, ang scene sa shepherding. So today, the context is, asa man ibutang ang sheep, ang sheepfold. Uh, uh, ang style nila, gikan magpasture, pag duol silang balay sa ilang barangay, sento sa barangay, magbutang sila og mga tinapok nga bato. Ang bato would be like a fence, ha? Ilang i, i, i pile up ang mga bato. An enclosure, ha? Unya sa enclosure na ay opening, na ay gate. That is why akong basahon, ha? Amen, amen I say to you, Whoever does not enter a sheepfold, the enclosure, through the gate, now get in your through the gate, opening, enclosure, mga bato, uh, whoever does not enter the sheepfold through the gate, but climbs, get in your, uh, climbs over elsewhere, mo climb, ana, tung bato, usay putangan nilag mga branches, climb over is ikawatan is a rubber sneak in but whoever enters through the gate the opening is the shepherd of the sheep oh we can pick you now so na ay kawatan but na ay shepherd huh? and i would continue now the gatekeeper opens it for him so kun dako dako nga shepherd na ay, na ay i-assign nga gatekeeper. Pag ana sa shepherd, i-open sa gatekeeper through the gate ang shepherd. Okay. Let's stop there. That is the picture. So, Good Shepherd Sunday, uh, ang, ang imagery is more than the shepherd, but the whole scenario, enclosure, gate. Ang focus karon, my dear friends, is balik balik si Jesus. No? The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hears his voice. So the shepherd calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. He calls his voice out. My dear friends, amigo kay sa sheep kay nasa tawag. Tawag na nagani name kay sa sheep. Kada ship, you might not believe it, but kada ship must say tawag. Kaila, makaila. So, usahay, the enclosure would be common. It could be good for five families. Ha, okay. Ang five flocks, 50, 60, magdungan sila o pasulod, bigger. Now, O ako nga ship na ay 170, ako a 40 lang, ako shepherd sa 40 lang, I will go inside 
the gatekeeper will allow me, and then I would begin calling my ship. Gets niyo? Ang kwarenta nga ko, makadung na ko, musunod. The others would not follow because lain mo po nilang shepherd. Common enclosure. I don't know if I'm getting across the beauty. Gubot kayo, dagang yung ship. Ang tag-iya sa kwarenta, muanto dito, iya tawagon, asya isawon, musunod niya, niya ipagawas. Through the gate. Ang focus today, balik-balik na Jesus, no? So Jesus said again, Amen, Amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the ship. Ang focus in the whole picture, He is the gate. Now, I say it slowly, in panang I am the gate, usahay ang enclosure, walay sarado. Open, bato, bato, bato niya, ilib ng nila open. Usahay ang shepherd, katong tao nga shepherd, siya ay matulog sa gate, iyang barahon. Dito siya matulog nila. So, siya ay siya ay gate, ha? Ha? siya ay shepherd. Dili kahoy ang gate, tao. So, the shepherd, tungod kay Pinubri man, siya po ay gate. Siya po ay gatekeeper. Ha? Maalakan. Katunda ko na ko, may gwardiya, may gate. Pero, may serado man, ablihan ang gate. But in some cases, the gate is there, pero ang sarado, ang shepherd himself. See the beauty? I am the gate now. All who came before me were thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me, whoever passes through the gate through me will be saved and will come in and out and find pasture. The risen Lord is our good shepherd in the picture of the pastor, in the particular, he said, I am the gate. Mo enter ka, you are safe. You go out, lead, led by the shepherd, huh? we will find pasture. My dear friends, today I propose mga three lessons to renew again our confidence with humility. We need shepherding. We need shepherding. Our downfall, ang atong kapilian, would begin when we start thinking we can do it alone. To be like sheep. Sometimes that is insulting because sheep it has its good qualities, but ang carnero is also a very weak animal. It needs caring. Huh? So we renew our faith today to believe that God will surely take care of us. The picture, again foreign to us, of a shepherd caring for the flock, smelling like sheep, at times sitting, Matulog, magbabag siya sa gate, kay bantayan niya ang karnero. He is a good shepherd. I would add, nai baston siya, nai baston. Kanang gigamit sa obispo, nai, nai hook, nai hook. Kay ang baston, iyang, iyang tawago na, and picture, kawasta, 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 kunya, Usahay ang mga karnero, dahil dali mong kaon, ang baso niya. Yan na, anak. Usahay, mahulog ang karnero sa medyo, medyo cave-in, medyo, medyo kanal, kanal, lalum-lalum, katong hook sa baso niya. Yang kuhaon, yang birahon. Usahay ka ng baso, i-fight niya sa wild dogs, mga wild animals ang mo-attack sa, sa ship. Again, this Sunday, he is a good shepherd. Just to be reminded that God looks at us. He cares for us like the picture of 
the good shepherd portrayed to us. And more importantly, he is the gate. In Bantayania, we are protected. And going out, for sure, the going out means better pasture. Questions. In our hearts of hearts, do we put our confidence in him, our good shepherd? In the world today, do we look for other pastures, other source of food, of joy and happiness? Are we not challenged today again to renew our confidence that he is our good shepherd? When tragedy strikes us in many ways in life, would the first thing that comes to mind, uh, the Lord is my shepherd, as the psalm would go, there is nothing I shall want. There is nothing that I need. The Lord takes care of me. Second related, coming from the gospel, the sheep hears his voice. Very unbelievable, but very true in Israel, the sheep can call his own. Proven na kayo. Because kung gamay pa ang, ang lamb already, tawag-tawago na shepherd, the sheep as it grows up knows the shepherd. The smell of the shepherd, the smell of the sheep. <laughs> the voice of the shepherd. Today, my dear friends, including me, what primary voice do I hear? What sounds, what news, what YouTube, what upload, what TikTok do I hear and believe? The sheep knows and hears his voice. Especially today, we are bombarded, avalanche of so many things we would listen to. <coughs> Somebody, a classmate of mine, sent me an, uh, what I call it, a video info. And a uh, classmate of me in high school, na baraka siya, Edu educated, uh, um, college siya. Archbishop, let us pray, let us pray about the video. Ako ang gitubag siya. Serious kayo siya, nabalaka. Ako siya ang gitubag. He, 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 he. Tuo day ka, anak. Nabalaka siya kay ang voice from the internet, video, YouTube. Hunin tuo siya. Fake mana. Ha? Fake mana. Be careful. What voice do you listen to? And if we are not careful, the voices that we listen can shape our hearts and minds. Second lesson today, a sheep of the flock, we hear his voice. We know his voice. We love his voice. We let his voice guide us. We let his voice make us confident and comfortable. Third lesson today, Sunday of the Good Shepherd Sunday, our vocation. Third is, claro pa kayo magbantay mo, ingon siya, many will climb over the bato, the rocks, the enclosure, makawatan, mga robbers, they would pretend to take care of you, but they are not true shepherds. And therefore, connected to number two, we should be Familiar with the voice of the shepherd. Otherwise, when the third lesson, when the robbers and kawatan and impostors would come, mutawag sila imitating somehow the voice, fake of course, madalata. So, ang number two, number three, number three is we should realize that also in the enclosure. Thieves may come in, robbers may come in and destroy us. 
So the key is to be familiar with the shepherd. And today, even if number three, aha, bishop, na ay mga evil ones, may mga robbers di ay. First and foremost, we try to be igmat, to be aware, but also we are told, the shepherd who is the Lord, fourth Sunday of Easter, the risen Lord, guaranteed na nga he is our shepherd because he has already defeated death and evil. For as long as buhi ang atong connection shown in today's gospel as able to listen to the voice of the shepherd, then we are shaped. Uh, then also we know the voice of the shepherd. Uh, when he calls, we can go out through the gate and to good pasture for our souls. My dear friends, we thank the Lord today, fourth Sunday of Easter, because that risen Lord is shown to us in a beautiful way as our good, faithful, self-sacrificing shepherd.